The Worst Tractors of All Time Part 2 Get ready to wince as we reveal the metal monsters that terrorize to the fields. The worst tractors ever made. These agricultural calamities, which range from ear-splitting roars to epic mechanical failures, will make you wonder how on earth they ever saw the light of day. Get ready for a harrowing journey through the murky history of farming. Kubota B3350 the Kubota B3350 has received a variety of reactions from customers, with regular regeneration problems being a major source of complaint, particularly in locations with low temperatures. There have been multiple reports of customers having issues with the machine's regeneration mechanism. This system is responsible for lowering the amount of toxic pollutants that are produced by the engine. The tractor's regeneration process has the potential to become more difficult and even more frequent when working in colder weather conditions. Farmers and operators who rely on the Kubota B3350 in places with colder climates have expressed displeasure over the interruptions caused by these regeneration problems, which damage the tractor's overall performance and production. These problems have been blamed on the colder climate. The problems with the regeneration have led many people to strongly advise against acquiring this model, particularly those who heavily rely on their tractors for vital work in cold weather zones. Despite the fact that it has other qualities that are noteworthy, the problems with regeneration have led many people to do so. Before making a final decision on their agricultural gear, prospective purchasers are strongly encouraged to give careful consideration to the concerns that have been raised. John Deere 2320 and 2305 The John Deere 2320 and 2305 have experienced recurring problems with their drive shaft and a lack of thorough maintenance instructions. These problems have been caused by a combination of factors. Because it appears to be prone to premature wear and tear, the drive shaft's longevity and reliability have been called into question by users and experts from independent sources. Because of the issues with the drive shaft, the functionality of the machines could potentially be disrupted, which has led to frustration among owners who rely on these models for agricultural or landscaping purposes. The fact that these models do not come with adequate maintenance instructions is yet another significant concern. Users have reported having trouble receiving clear and detailed recommendations for maintaining the equipment, which has led to misunderstandings and insufficient maintenance procedures. As a consequence of this, the lack of guidance may have contributed to the problems with the drive shaft, as well as other potential faults which may have resulted in expensive repairs, as well as downtime for the owners. It is possible that John Deere will need to address these concerns in order to guarantee the happiness of their customers and the continued viability of their products. Kubota BX some consumers were unhappy with the design and functionality of the Kubota BX series, which resulted in the series receiving criticism from such users. One of the most contentious issues was that it had a lower capacity than expected, which was a letdown for people who were looking for heavy-duty performance. Many customers complained that the mower deck lacked refinement, which resulted in less precise cutting and inconsistent outcomes. In addition, although the rapid park loader was designed to be convenient, it was criticized for its lack of durability and instability when loaded, which caused some customers to be unhappy with the product as a whole and its performance. In spite of these complaints, it is essential to point out that the Kubota BX series still possesses strengths such as its small size, its ability to do a variety of tasks, and its user-friendliness. The series may still be an option worth considering for some people, particularly those with fewer responsibilities who also have restricted space. However, for individuals that require more sophisticated capabilities and a more streamlined set of features, there are other solutions that might be worth looking into. To make an educated choice regarding any item, it is vital for prospective purchasers to thoughtfully evaluate their own requirements and compare these requirements to the various possibilities that are accessible to them. John Deere 3E Some people have the impression that the John Deere 3E series is not as impressive as its counterparts, the 2R and 3R series, particularly in regard to the loader capacity and overall weight of the machines in this series. Despite being associated with the well-respected John Deere name, the 3E series has been criticized for not living up to the requirements of particular customers who place a premium on heavy-duty capabilities. It has been discovered that the weight of the tractors in the 3E series is considerably lighter than that of other tractors. 
factors which may have an effect on their stability and traction when doing more difficult agricultural chores. In addition, the loader capacity of the 3E e series is inferior to that of the higher performing 2R and 3R models, which hinders its ability to effectively manage heavier loads and reduces its overall productivity. Those who are looking for more robust performance are frequently drawn to the 2R and 3R series because of their higher weight and loader capacity. While the 3E e series may still be appealing to those who have lesser jobs and agricultural demands on a smaller scale, those looking for more robust performance are often drawn to the 3E e series. Oliver 1250 the Oliver 1250 earned a bad reputation among farmers as being the absolute worst tractor that's ever been produced. In spite of the fact that it appeared to be promising, it did not live up to the expectations in any way. Its engine was prone to frequent malfunctions and lacked the power necessary to complete challenging responsibilities. The farmers had a hard time dealing with its cumbersome construction, which made it difficult to move around in confined areas. Because of the poor construction quality, there were numerous leaks and parts that came loose. The Oliver 1250 gained notoriety among farmers for being unreliable, and many of those farmers expressed sorrow afterward over having invested their hard-earned money on a product that turned out to be such a letdown. It was not unusual to hear owners venting their frustration by sharing stories of never-ending repair expenditures and decreased production. As more time passed, the Oliver 1250 became less well known, but it still is regarded as a cautionary tale for manufacturers about the significance of providing quality and reliability in their goods. Massey Ferguson 1805 Farmers and people who are passionate about tractors had a widespread perception that the Massey Ferguson 1805 was the worst model that the company had ever made. In spite of the fact that Massey Ferguson's a well-respected brand, 1805 model was riddled with several problems that left customers feeling let down and frustrated. Due to inefficiencies in its design, it frequently broke down, rendering it extremely unreliable for use in routine agricultural operations. The engine was especially problematic as it frequently overheated and lacked the requisite power to manage loads that were too large for it. The transmission system frequently experienced malfunctions, which resulted in jerky motions and challenges when switching gears. In addition to this, the build quality of the tractor was poor, which resulted in rust and corrosion problems that expedited its overall deterioration. Farmers who were forced to purchase a Massey Ferguson 1805 quickly regretted their decision and found it difficult to find suitable remedies to the machine's ongoing issues. When it comes to the production of trustworthy farm machinery, the 1805 should serve as a cautionary tale for manufacturers, highlighting the significance of rigorous testing and quality control. International Harvester 3588 it was well known in the farming community that the International Harvester 3588 was one of the worst tractors that had ever been produced. Its performance and reliability were consistently subpar, which led to a series of ongoing problems that tarnished its reputation. As soon as it was put to use in fields, farmers were plagued with difficulties such as frequent breakdowns, engine problems, and failures of the hydraulic system. It was obvious that the tractor had some design defects and the quality of its construction left a lot to be desired. The proprietors discovered that they had to consistently spend money on repairs and maintenance, which drained both their finances and their patience. The once promising machine earned a reputation that turned off potential purchasers and harmed the image of the brand, which in turn hurt the company's bottom line. In spite of International Harvester's efforts to fix the tractor's issues, the company was unable to save its reputation and the situation became increasingly difficult. In the farming world, the 3588 model acted as a cautionary tale, reminding everyone of the implications of rushing a product to market without thoroughly testing and quality controlling it first. Alice Chalmers 190 XT the Alice Chalmers 190 XT had a bad reputation as one of the worst tractors available at the time it was manufactured among farmers and tractor enthusiasts. The tractor was lacking in a variety of ways despite having a design that had a lot of potential and the solid reputation of the company that made it. Farmers that relied on it for their business found that the engine was unstable and prone to frequent breakdowns which resulted in significant downtime and increased levels of aggravation for the farmers. Another big fault with the 190 XT was its transmission, which was notorious for its cumbersome shifting and insufficient power delivery to the wheels. This defect not only reduced output, but also posed a threat to the operator's safety when they were performing labor-intensive agricultural jobs. 
The overall build quality of the tractor was inadequate, which led to crucial components wearing down prematurely and further worsening its unreliability. The Alice Chalmers 190XT was infamously known as one of the least dependable tractors of its day, as a result of the inherent design problems that caused it and this reputation has left an indelible impact on the brand's history. Case 1070 in the annals of farming history, the historic tractor Case 1070 catastrophe is without a doubt the worst tractor case known to rural communities. It's also known as the debacle. This terrible situation occurred as a result of a group of farmers who did not exercise proper caution when investing their cash in what they thought would be a dependable and high-performing tractor. Their hopes of enhanced production were dashed when they discovered that the tractor Case 1070 was nothing short of a technical nightmare. Farmers were left unsatisfied and unable to meet the daily agricultural demand since the tractor suffered from recurrent mechanical failures from the beginning of its production run. The machine looked bound to continually break down despite the countless attempts that were made to fix it, which resulted in significant financial losses and a great deal of worry for the owners of the machine. When it comes to making investments in essential pieces of farming equipment, this cautionary tale serves as a strong reminder to people living in more rural areas about the significance of conducting comprehensive research and exercising judgment. John Deere MT The John Deere MT tractor was widely panned as the worst machine of its type. Farmers were disappointed and frustrated by its poor performance and numerous technical troubles. From the moment it was released into the fields, the MT had trouble living up to its claims. The engine on the tractor was always breaking down, leaving farmers unable to complete vital duties. There was already a growing list of issues, but design defects in the transmission system caused regular gear jams and slipping belts. Performing regular upkeep was a frustrating and time-consuming ordeal. As news of the MT's flaws spread, farmers started avoiding it in favor of more tried-and-true methods. John Deere tried to fix the problems, but the damage was already done, and the MT is now remembered as one of the company's worst products. So these were some of the well-known tractors that, for various reasons, are among the very worst in their category. We hope you enjoyed our efforts, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.